Hello everyone, this is FK Make official YouTube channel and my name is Engineer Farman Khan. In this video I have to tell you about this is the ice cream storage machine which is used for storing extra low temperature products. So these are the evaporator cabinet shallows. Each plate is attached with copper tubing coil. As you see this is the tubing coil. So this portion is the evaporator portion and in lower portion if I can show you so it contains on one number of compressor and a condensing unit. So this is the compressor of reciprocating type and uh, this is the discharge line of this compressor as you can see and uh, in the other side this is the uh, uh, suction line of this compressor as you can see this is the suction line and this is the charging line. So before the gas charging we will vacuum this unit and for the vacuum process we have to need a low pressure gauge as you can see this is a low pressure gauge that I have connected it with the uh, compressor of the unit the inlet port of the gauge is connected with the vacuum pump this is a specific vacuum pump and this is the electric board so first I will switch on the vacuum pump to start the vacuum process now as you can see the vacuum started the pointer on the gauge is coming down on the vacuum scale so after completing the vacuum in about 25 to 30 minutes the pointer will stand at 29.92 inch of mercury which is complete vacuum but we should give the time of 20 to 30 minutes to vacuum completely and because the vacuum process is very necessary so just use a standard type of vacuum pump for the vacuum process so this is also a standard type of vacuum pump and you can buy it for your good work after completing the vacuum process we will charge a R404 refrigerant in this unit as you can see the orange color cylinder on the screen. So after completing the vacuum process first close the value of low pressure gauge and then remove the charging hose from the vacuum pump. So I am removing the charging hose from the vacuum pump and now switch off the vacuum pump. So let me set up the electronic refrigerant charging scale first. Tag the scale and press the on button and select the scale of kg. Now take a charging hose and connect its one end with the cylinder. and the second end will be connected with the input port of the charging scale. Similarly take another charging hose and connect it to the output port of the charging scale. And now place the cylinder in upside down position on the charging scale pad. Because it is a blend type mixture, so we will charge it in liquid phase. Now connect the charging hose from output port of the charging scale to input port of low pressure gauge. Now open the valve of cylinder and purge the charging hose so then the air present in the charging hose will be exited out. Now open the valve of low pressure gauge and let allow the refrigerant go into the unit. So this is the small amount of refrigerant which we charged in off position. As you can see up to 10 psig and on charging scale it is 80 gram. Now switch on the unit and let's see on the pressure gauge. The pointer is coming down towards 0 psig. So we will open the wall of the pressure gauge and let to enter some more refrigerant inside the unit. Thank you. 
Now close the valve of pressure gauge and let's see on the charging scale. So it is 160 gram refrigerant. So as we will open the valve of pressure gauge, the refrigerant is going inside the unit and you can see on the charging scale 125 135 145 so it is the mass of refrigerant The mass of refrigerant is 0.245 gram and uh, the suction pressure is still below the zero. So we will open the volume of gauge again and you can see the mass on charging scale which is 280 gram, 290 gram and so on. Just see the charging wall and the frost is on a charging wall because the pressure is still low and due to the low pressure the temperature is also still low so close the valve of the pressure gauge again and after some time you can see that i open the valve of pressure gauge again and you can see the refrigerant is still going to the inside the unit on the charging scale you can see 405 gram and on the pressure gauge so just close the valve again and now we will see again the so the pressure is still uh, 0 psig on the pressure gauge so now we have attached a thermometer with the cabinet of this ice cream storage machine so now you can see the temperature of the cabinet so from here we will observe the four main things first is the mass of refrigerant via charging scale second is the suction pressure via a low pressure gauge and third the electric current via ampere meter and the fourth thing is the the cabinet temperature via thermometer now let's open the wall again and let allow some more refrigerant into the unit so according to the pressure temperature chart of r404 a refrigerant just because my requirement is to produce the low temperature up to minus 35 degrees c so then i will keep the suction pressure up to 9 psig as you see on this chart but if you want to charge this refrigerant in any refrigeration unit so you can charge it according to your own requirements so here still the mass of refrigerant is 0.905 kg the pressure on pressure gauge is 11 psig while the current is 6.73 ampere so after running the unit from 15 minutes the temperature on the thermometer is still up to 3 degrees c So after 10 minutes later, if we see the thermometer, so the temperature on the thermometer is minus 15.8 degrees Celsius. So now I want to see the conditions of inside cabinet. So I will open the door of this unit. So 
so here I can see this uh, slightly frost on the uh, some plates and if you can see so this is the frost on evaporator coil as you can see So again the reading on the charging scale is 0.985 kg while the pressure gauge pressure is 10 psig and the current on the ampere meter is 7.07 .07 ampere. So the compressor is running very normally here and the condensing unit is also at normal uh, conditions. If we see the thermometer again so the temperature is minus 22.8 degrees celsius so as we run this unit continuously for more some time the cabinet temperature will more come down up to minus 32 degrees celsius and when we store the ice cream at this low temperature so it freezes for a long period and cannot melt in a short period just because in cabinet here is extra low temperature for ice cream so they cool and hard more because it's low temperature So once again we will see the mass of the refrigerant is almost 1 kg, 1.85 kg and the pressure on the pressure gauge is a 6 psig while the current on the ampere meter is still 6.3 ampere and the temperature on the thermometer is still minus 30.5 degrees celsius so it is very extra low temperature so to increase the suction pressure a little bit more so we will open the value of pressure gauge and let to enter the more refrigerant in the unit and then after closing the wall we can see the suction pressure is about 10 psig so this is the refrigerant which is perfectly we have charged in this unit now close the valve of cylinder and then remove the charging hose from the cylinder and now ensure the valve of pressure gauge to close now remove the charging hose from the charging valve of the compressor and put the capping nut on the charging wall of the compressor so that was the video today if you like this video so press the like button and share this video with your friends if you are new on this channel so please subscribe this channel first and press the bell icon until to next video bye bye